Yeah. Up is Eclipse from Team Ruthless. Um, and first of first and foremost, I want to shout out to uh, Bless, aka Jin Prophecy, for suggesting me, uh, suggesting for me to make this video. Um, it's been a long time coming. This shit was supposed to be done like years ago, but <laughs> or not years ago, but months ago. But finally doing it, bro. So shout out to you. Also, I want to shout out to my boy Art for the the dope banner. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Um, this musical, oh, uh, this musical, this video <laughs> is gonna be a little bit different from my other stuff. You know, I got a lot of gaming stuff, but this is a uh, part of something that I want to be more part of in the future. Hopefully, 2020, I start making more strides towards um, things like this, and um, I definitely have a bunch more ideas that I want to start doing and implementing in 2020. Um, but yeah, before I start officially let me um thank you guys i'm at 290 subscribers right now big boost i started at 100 i don't even know maybe halfway through the year and i'm i'm already got 190 more subscribers um actually i think it's more than that i think it's about 200 subscribers that i gained in this short amount of time and um hopefully i can do better and be more consistent and uh but yeah i want to thank you guys um especially uh, everyone who fucks with my uh video game videos um Thanks, thanks a lot. Um, again, trying to do more and uh, trying to be more consistent and trying to bring more variety. Um, but yeah, here we go. Um, this video is gonna be like a, a musical awareness video. Um, again, shout out to uh, Jin. He he told me to do a video about. Um, I guess at first he told me to rank all the Brevar rappers, and I was like, I didn't even know we had. And he sent me this whole list of all these rappers. Like, I didn't even know we had this many Brevard rappers. Like, he sent me, like, a list of 20, 30 people. And I was like, oh, my God. And then not only that, once I started finding some, I started discovering more and more every day. Um, but, yeah, and I don't think a lot of people know it. And I think it's kind of sad because looking at how Atlanta, like, when you hear about the success stories of people from Atlanta, um, a.k.a. Black Hollywood, blow up they all kind of knew each other all the rappers there when they started blowing up they kind of knew each other they talk about each other oh i seen him in the studio or oh, before he blew up or oh i wanted to do a song for or i put him on i gave him the connections blah 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 and um from what i hear um from other rappers is that a lot of for some reason we don't hear in brevard don't like to collaborate or we like to kind of hold on to our connects for ourselves and i feel like especially in this day and age if if you got it you got it nobody else is going to change that for one and two like you want to see your people succeed because every time i see somebody from my city succeed from my county succeed from my state succeed I, that's another that that just give me more motivation saying that i can do it too every time i see a football player somebody from palm bay high make it to the nfl like oh that's just another way. Even if it's, I'm not going for the same thing. That's just another way. Another person putting more eyes on my city to do or city, town, whatever, to do something else to to um, improve. So I think you should, people should want people from their their town, their city, blah blah blah, to make it. And um, I don't know why people are so selfish or scared um, to to let other people shine. I think it's really I think it's really weird. I don't know. Um but yeah, so again, I currently don't rap. So this is just people I fuck with. Um if you ain't make the list, don't take it personal. This is literally just the stuff I fuck with. Um I'm gonna have some shout outs at the end too for people who weren't on my top ten list. Um but if I don't shout you out, I either you either didn't look consistent to me. And it look like you haven't made music in a while, or I don't know who you are. So again, um, I hope people can use this video to not only spread awareness to other musicians, to for, to other musicians, to connect with other musicians, but also for them to gain more fans. And also, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope we can use this video. Oh, also use it to. To promote yourself like be, feel free to throw a link in my comments to put me on to put somebody else on who might see the video um my shit's only i know it looks my only the um about 300 subscribers now so i know 
this is not a huge platform, but trust me when I tell you, my shit's only going up from here. So, yeah. But yo, let me get it started. And um, yeah, so my first on the list was, uh, and this is not any order. I didn't rank them, like, but this is just whatever. So don't get offended if you're on the list, but you're last. They don't matter. I didn't put them in any number order. So, anyways, my first, Pistol Boy. Pistol Boy, and I just found out, I don't know if his name is Jay Boulevard now, or it's Pistol Boy, Pistol Boy, I don't even know how to say that shit, but I fuck with your music. Um, you have a strong production, which I think is crazy, I feel like your production is way better than a lot of these people that I was reviewing while doing this, um, it's really dope, I think you have a, a dope range of different subjects, um, I really like your style, um, nothing... I, I'm gonna say a little bit of bad too, but don't take it personal. Nothing you say really sticks out to me. Um, but I'm a, I used to be what I thought was like a lyric head, I guess, where only lyrics matter. Um, not so much anymore because um, I'm grown. But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, nothing you really say stick out to me. But I do like your vibe. I do like the sounds. I feel like you can do club hits. I feel like you do some deep stuff. Um, but again, uh, my only thing is no nothing you lyrically say sticks out to me. But I do like your sound and I do like the production. I think you do a really good job of making the uh, melodies better with your voice. And I think that's very hard to do. Even I feel like lyricists sometimes will focus on their wordplay, but not focus on actually making it sound good. So I think you would do a really good job on that. And I think that's kind of, I, honestly, nowadays, I think that's the most important thing. So, Pizza Boy or AKA J Boulevard, um, I really think you're dope, and uh, you you do you look like you do a pretty good numbers. Um, so yeah, but uh, uh, not enough to where I felt like I didn't need to put you on this list, which you guys will see at the end. There's some people I'm not shouting out because they look like they did really good numbers, and uh, they don't really need it as much as everyone else. But yeah, um, sorry guys. <laughs> Dope, dope stuff, Pizzle Boy. I really like your shit. Um, and I'm proud to be in the same county as you are. Uh, Mark Terry. Mark Terry is probably, this is, might be biased because this is go back to me being a lyric head or consciousness listener, whatever you want to call me nowadays. Um, Mark Terry, definitely a uh, heavy New York vibe from you. I think he's from New York, even though he lives here. And that's another thing. I don't know about you guys, but. I've been here almost my whole life, and a lot of you guys, most of my best friends are from New York. So I think that's a, uh, a lot of people here, period, are from New York. And I feel like that's a market that he could hit that a lot of people don't really pay attention to. I don't. I think a lot of media service need to pay more attention to that because I feel like there is a strong New York presence in Florida. I don't know why people don't think that. Um, but again, most, most of my best friends from New, from New York and, um, a lot of people think I'm from New York. I don't know why, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's my accent or something. I don't know why people, it's weird. Cause even people from New York think I'm from New York. Anyways, I'm ranting, but yeah, um, really dope. Um, he got a, like a Mark Terry has like a hip hop, keep hip hop alive vibe to him where he's doing uh, a lot of freestyles. He's doing like a little cyphers. I saw a little cypher with Paris he did. Um, really dope. I think there's still a strong market for people with that old new school New York vibe. And again, I think he hits a market that a lot of people don't realize. There's a lot of people from New York and Florida. And he does. He really does talk about the city a lot in his songs. Um, really dope rapper. I really like his styles a lot. Um, the only thing I think he could work on is... Not being too hip hoppy, even though I know it's a style. Though I think, as much as I love the whole hip hop shit, it is kind of played out. <laughs> um, switch it up. I, li I like how the ASAP game kind of switching it up, getting away from. They still have dope lyrics, but they're more like party songs. And I think he, Mark Terry, I think lyricists can make better party songs than fucking um, people who focus on it. They do straight club bangers and whatnot. So. I hope you listen to me. <laughs> if not, it's cool, whatever. It's just some advice. Um, but anyway, who the fuck am I? I don't know what works. <laughs> but yeah, but I think you're dope, regardless. Uh, stick to it. Stay consistent. But yeah, 
Uh, my next one is Nitro, Nico Nitro. Um, this one might be another one that's biased because that's my homie and I knew you for years. Um, but yo, I think you're dope. Out of everybody, you're you're. The, I feel like you're the most consistent person here. I feel like out of everybody, you are the one collabing and 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 making moves and. and, and you put me on some artists that I didn't never heard of. I don't even know they're from here or what, but yeah, you you have a different variety of of styles and, and music, and you seem to mesh well with um, different people, types of people and types of music. Um, you're really dope, and um, not only that, like for as far as I know, you've been rapping since probably since like almost as soon as I got out of high school. So shit, almost ten years. <laughs> but um. You're improving. The first time I heard your song, I was like, eh. But, yo, you're definitely improving every song. And every recent song I hear gets better and better. Um, My cousin was the one who shouted um, you out. And said, like, yo, Nico's getting nice. I was like, oh, word? Then I started listening. And plus, um, you seem to be a jack of all trades. And you you producing and stuff, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And that's really dope, making your own beats and whatnot. That's really sick. And I think that's another thing people need to start doing. As they want to become, um, if they're trying to become musicians and start trying to produce your own stuff, I feel like that's very important these day and age, especially now that you can be quote unquote independent and whatnot. I feel like there's a huge market for people like that that you can hit if you know what you're doing. You don't have to go through like labels and shit is stupid now, almost stupid now. Like you can be, if you can put yourself out there better. By yourself, I feel like nowadays, if you have control when you're going to drop shit. So I feel like that's really great that you produce your own shit. And I really think that's a, a, a step above it. A lot of people. Um, My next one on the list is P Nasty. P Nasty, I, that's one of the guys I am um, heard your music through features with Nitro. Uh, uh, P Nasty, you got a lot of club bangers. You got good production. I feel like you're kind of basic. <laughs> um, no offense, like not basic, generic. <laughs> That's a better word for it. Um, a lot of club banging dirty stuff, but I do like this shit, and I feel like you, um, at least I don't know if you picked this up from Nitro or what, but I feel like it's pretty dope that you you do have songs where you're doing like club bangers, but then you do other songs where you have like I saw the video with your daughter in it, and you were talking about you know doing whatever for your family, and I always think I always respect that. I can't do nothing but respect that. Um, I think you're pretty dope, and I pretty pretty sure. That's the definitely you definitely hit a lot of markets and I definitely believe you could be mainstream. Um, I don't know what's holding. I don't know what a lot of things. I think this whole most of you guys back is production. Um, P nasty, your production is pretty good. Um, I don't know if Nitro gives a lot of your stuff. Again, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Um, unlike you know mainstream rappers, I can't just glue you guys. I gotta. I can only tell y'all what I see. So definitely, if you guys feel any type of way about things I said or y'all want to clear any misunderstandings, definitely just hit me up in the comments or Facebook, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm not going to take it personal if y'all don't like the video either. It's not that serious. But yeah, I really think you're dope. Um, be nasty. Um, you're definitely one of my top. Out of here, you're definitely, one. I think, in my top five. Um, pretty dope. Ace De Niro. Um... I like your I like your rap style. I like your voice. You got a dope rap voice. I think you need better production, and I think your flow could use a little bit of work. Um, and I had a hard time finding your music. Well, like I see your music seems to be on a bunch of different ty uh, channels. It doesn't look like you have your own channel. And uh, I didn't really look for your SoundCloud. Maybe I should have looked for your SoundCloud if you have a SoundCloud. Um, what I was linked was just a, a YouTube video. But I really do like your shit. Um, yeah, I like your voice, and I, I feel like you have a lot of potential. And uh, almost, I want to say the maybe the most potential on a, out of everybody on this list. Um, I really, in terms of rap, um, you're definitely really dope. And yeah, I fuck with you. I fuck with it. <laughs> All this shit, I fuck with. Money, Mish, If I'm saying that right, yo, you got a really good singing voice. Um, I feel like you should sing more than you should rap. Um, you seem to rap a lot, but you get, you're a pretty solid rapper too. Um, that's just me personally, but I think it's pretty dope. Um, you got decent production, but yeah, I fuck with it. To be honest, I feel like you rap a lot of people to 
rap better than a lot of people that um that I was listed, but I feel like your singing is still way better. So yeah. <laughs> um Rococo. Pretty you're pretty dope too, and you can switch up your sound pretty well. Um almost as soon as I started listening to you, I was like, yo, this might be the female Drake. <laughs> um pretty dope. Um yo, but real talk. Yo, the couple videos you had, they had long ass fucking intros. And I want to talk to, yo, everybody in fucking Brevard. Yo, everybody who's not mainstream and not big, stop with these fucking long ass video intros. Ain't nobody trying to watch all these. We just trying to hear your shit. We don't know if you're going to be worth the five, three minutes. <laughs> no offense. But, yo, stop with the long ass intros because it sucks. Re-listening to this long ass intro Just for the shit to suck I'm gonna be real with you Stop it But your videos are dope Mish Or not Mish Coco Ro Coco Your videos are dope But stop it It is Stop it Just stop it Um The only other thing too Is uh Your hooks I feel like your hooks are a little too long And a little too repetitive Um And I think it's alright When you're doing those club bangers But That shit get kinda old quick so, um, other than that, though, you're really talented, really nice voice. I really think you could pop off. Um, I hope to hear more. Um, and this from all you guys, I hope to hear more from all you guys. It seems like most of you guys approve. I always click the first, at least the first and the last um, thing you uploaded. And it always, always an improvement with all these people that I'm talking about. And again, really dope shit. Yo, I'm really, I really fuck with y'all. Tyreezy, this one they might say I'm biased because Tyreezy is my cousin, but his um I fuck with him. <laughs> um, but he has dope dope flow, cool lyrics. Um, he's kind of like in the middle in terms of like rap style, making it sound good. Like how do I explain? Like he's not barring you to death, but he got bars. Um, and he has pretty de decent melody and decent flow on the beats. He, he's pretty sick. Um, I feel like your hooks are a little too long, but other than that, you got high potential, man. I really think you, I th really think you could be something. And I see you do some crazy features. I seen you do the feature with um, Stitches, which is crazy because I used to listen to Stitches. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. I feel like you don't sound too unique. Oh, also, I want to say, um, looking you up recently. There's another Tyreezy out there doing numbers. I, I don't think he's a rapper, though. I think he's a singer. So I don't know if that's going to be some issues <laughs> with you later. But, um, again, anyways, you're still dope, man. You're dope to me. Um, I hope to hear more from you. I feel like you do a little bit too many features. I don't know if that was the plan or what, but um, hard to find music with you on your own. I know I, there was like a freestyle I caught that you was on. That was pretty dope. That was a pretty dope freestyle. I think that was on Facebook. I don't even think that was on YouTube. Um, that shit was sick. Um, but I, I, again, I hope to hear more from you. You're pretty dope, man. And this might be that might sound biased because he's my cousin, but whatever. Um, I don't discriminate with lyrics. If you trash, you trash. I don't care if you're my cousin or not. <laughs> v Bay, V Bay is a pre pretty dope, yo. Plus she's bad. Plus <laughs> she's pretty sick. Um. Pretty fire club bangers, yo. Um, yeah. Definitely like your style. Definitely a market out there for you. I think it's really dope. Um, I ain't had too much to say. You didn't have too many songs. I think you had like six songs on your YouTube. But you're pretty sick. I like how you do the little freestyles. In bet like every between videos. I think you're smart. What you smart in terms of like how you're doing your YouTube is you got the videos, of course, but you also got a little songs for people to just click and listen to. I feel like you're trying to get as much music as you can out. Um, you had your performance in Orlando on your YouTube. That was pretty sick with your songs matched up. I, again, I think people need to look in more ways to advertise your music. And I think you're really doing a good job of that. Um, pretty sick, yo. You really, um, you're Jen's top five from Brevard. Um, I don't know where you at on my list. I ain't ranked this yet, but you're on my top 10 at least. <laughs> you're pretty sick, though. 
Um, really like your style a lot. And then last but not least is my boy Mr. GT. Um, again, it's another one I might be biased because I knew Sean since fucking elementary school. But yo, the stuff he was sending me, yo, we just like reconnected and he started sending me all his old music. I was like, oh shit. Very different sounds, bro, in terms of like his range. Like he'll give you a conscious song one second, throw an R and B song at you the next second. This shit is crazy. Um, honestly, Sean, I like GT. I like your singing more than your rap. And you have some very dope rap songs. But yo, you got some dope like R and B vibe type shit. Party songs that I really like listening to, man. Um, it's really crazy. I, if I would have thought you were making music like that back in the day, dog, I wouldn't have believed it. This shit is tough. Like I'll be blasting that shit on my car. That shit is tough. But yeah, that's it. That's my top ten. Um, again, guys, if I didn't mention you in the top ten, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me do my shout outs first. So. Before I end this, let me shout out to Parrish. Parrish, in terms of consistency, you're up there with Nitro. Um, like, I feel like you damn near tagging 9,700 people in a fucking uh, song or video you did every damn week. And this shit's good. Like, I think you still got some shit to work on in terms of production and delivery. But other than that, your shit's good. I seen you do that song with Mark Terry. That shit's dope. Um... And are you another person I feel like who's keeping the old school hip hop shit alive? So I think that's dope. I really appreciate it. You ain't make my top 10, but yo, I plan on doing this shit every, probably every year. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this shit yet. I'm gonna do shit more shit like this, but I don't know how I'm gonna do this shit yet. I don't even have a name for this shit. I think I'm gonna call it Brevard's Finest. But, <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, next, uh, Yo Brother Dave. Yo Brother Dave was dope. I don't know if he's still making music. Um, but he was pretty dope. He gave me a T.I. vibe, but I liked it. Uh, Kenny Boy. I don't even remember who Kenny Boy is. Hold up, give me a second. I don't remember who Kenny Boy is, but I'll put his, uh, whatever his YouTube is on the, um, in the comments so you guys can listen to. I know I liked it. But I don't remember. Um, I feel like I wasn't gonna shout out this dude, FJ Outlaw, because he's like country rap, and I don't really. Eh, but that shit kind of ride, yo. <laughs> that shit kind of ride. He consistent. One of his songs got 3.6 million views. Another song had over a hundred thousand. Um, people fuck with it. So I felt I felt like it'd be wrong if I didn't shout at least shout you out. Um, you're not for me, but I, I fuck with the vibe. Um, then there's Red. Shout out to Red. Um, I don't know too much about Red. I listen to his shit. I'm not a big fan of it, but he's doing numbers out here. And Burger. Burger probably would have made my top 10, but Burger is kind of leagues above everybody else in terms of views and production and whatnot, which kind of confuses me because a lot of you guys seem to be on this triple Hits Entertainment, is that it? Triple Hits Entertainment, or First Class Entertainment. One of them shits. And I ain't seen none of y'all want a burger shit. So I thought that was kind of... Why ain't he putting y'all on? Or at least with the production. But uh, yeah, but Burger definitely would have been my top 10. It's cool to see Burger because... being Because I, I kind of forgot about Burger, but it's cool to see him where he's at right now. Um, cause um, I remember everybody talking about him in school before he was popping, popping. You know what I'm saying? Now he's really out there. Like he has, he's doing millions of, uh, of views every week or every song, and uh, not every song, but a lot of his songs got over millions of views. Um, he has some pretty cool features. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's stopping him from hitting that next level. But um, hopefully he gets there, man. It's pretty cool to see somebody from the hood um, get out of there. Because I'm pretty sure he's from Cold Side. And I know a lot of you niggas be acting like y'all from Cold Side. But y'all really not from Cold Side. I was from Cold Side. That's how I know you niggas ain't from Cold Side. But whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> My 
My whole family used to live on the same block. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Anyways, this is really dope. Um, really dope stuff to see. Um, again, if I didn't shout you guys out or there was some kind of miscommunication between anything that I said, yo, correct me in the comments. Um, or put me on to your music. Put me on to your stuff. Any kind of music, yo. Um, there's a lot of people who I, who was on the list who just didn't look like they were consistent. Um, they looked like they dropped like anybody who dropped the song. Last song was like two years ago. I didn't put you on the list because you go a whole year without dropping another song. Yeah, you're obviously not consistent, or you're putting your music somewhere else, and I don't know where that is. So definitely, you guys put me on. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope it helps you guys connect to people. Um, and yeah. Deuces. Oh, don't forget hit like, subscribe, all that bullshit. And uh, Eclipse out. Deuces.